So much pressure to represent. I gotta be a good Asian everywhere now. I gotta tip everywhere I go. <laughs> that was one of the major advantages of being Asian, is I can just pretend I don't know how to tip. <laughs> Y'all know what a Chinese tip is? Chinese tip, it doesn't matter how big your bill is, you tip $2, that's a Chinese. <laughs> That's Chinese tip, man. Welcome to the stage, Jimmy. Oh, yeah! Everywhere I go, I gotta represent. Even day to day, even the bedroom, I gotta represent. <laughs> After I hooked up with this one girl, this is what she said to me. She was like, Jimmy, um, I don't know how to tell you this, but you're the first Asian guy I've ever been with. I'm like, okay. <laughs> what do you want, a fortune cookie? Like, what? <laughs> You gotta take advantage of these, all, these, all these like Asian stereotypes, you know? If people's gonna exoticize us, that's fine. Whenever somebody asks me to do something I don't wanna do, I just make up a fake Chinese holiday now. <laughs> it's like, hey, Jimmy, can you help me move next Monday? I'm like, Monday? That's the Dragon Boat Lychee Boba Festival, dog. I can't, <laughs> can't just help you move. My grandfather died for that <laughs> you understand? This one girl said this that was so disrespectful. This is what she said to me after we hooked up. She was like, Jimmy, um, I'm just glad the stereotype's not true. You don't have a small penis. And I'm like, you understand? You just insulted my entire race of people. But thank you. One time I went over to the girl's house. She, she has this like Naruto anime poster in her bedroom. I knew I was that night. <laughs> I'm 5'5". Five five. I just go to concerts to smell other people's armpits. <laughs> like, what the f is the point of this? She was having a time in her life doing whatever tall people do at concerts, you know? Jumping around, obstructing other people's views, <laughs> seeing everything. I was frustrated. I had enough. So I just looked up at her. I was like, hey, <laughs> pick me up. Before I even wanted to get into stand-up, that's all I want to do. I want to be a rapper. I want to be like Jay-Z and Big Pimpin. So I started my own rap group in high school. It's a true story. It was me, my black friend Julian, and my other friend Yuji, who was half black and half Japanese. So we had perfectly one and a half black dudes <laughs> and one and a half Asian dudes. And we called ourselves the Yellow Panthers. But then after I graduated, I didn't want to do like econ or finance. So I go, went up to my dad, I was like, dad, I don't want to do any of this. I, I want to go try and do stand-up. And he's like, what's a, what's a stand-up? You mean like a talk show? I was like, yeah, sure, talk show, whatever you want to call it, okay? But I want to go pursue my dreams. And he was like, no. <laughs> Pursuing your dreams, how you become homeless. <laughs> but that's a f***ed up stereotype, right? That's not even true. That's a up stereotype. Everybody should have average dick until proven guilty. <laughs> I don't care how tall you are, what ethnicity you are, how big your hands are. Everybody should start at average dick. <laughs> Eight inches. <laughs> and we go from there. Like I'm finally, I'm like quasi famous now. Nothing's really changed. I might get a free appetizer at select PF Chang's. That's about it. <laughs> Nothing's really changed. I was still using Tinder up until like a year ago. This is a true story. But now I realize I got a whole new set of issues on Tinder. Like, like now when I do match with a girl, she doesn't believe that it's me. Like, ugh, that's not you. That's not, you're not that guy from this thing and that thing. I'm like, who the f is using me as a fake profile? <laughs> One time I got high and I called my mom. I was like, mom, I just, I, I just want to tell you, mom. I love you. And you can hear her start like crying on the other side of the line. She was like, oh, Jimmy, I, do you have a cancer? Like, oh. <laughs> One time I asked my dad, I was like, dad, after 38 years, do you still love mom? And he was like, love? <laughs> Your mom married me to escape communist China. <laughs> it's a not love, it's a good deal. That's how we show love, people.